Hello, hello, how are you? Today, interesting subject uh, because I will ask you, do you think you are from some other planet? Oh, you know, we're saying sometimes, oh, you know, you know, you're talking crazy. <laughs> what you are talking about? Are you from the other planet? Like you don't belong to Earth. And perhaps they right. Did you ever think that? That maybe they right. Oh, I absolutely believe that I was Lemurian. And 26,000 years ago, plus minus, I advanced vibrationally, went into higher dimension, just like all the Lemurians at that time. And I was a healer. Also, that I was Pleiadian. So we have different kind of planets that we could come from. But what was my very first ever feeling that something is off? I'm not like everybody else. And I have to tell you, I didn't have the feeling of belonging to my family, my parents, my environment, the place. So when I try to convey how I feel about something or ask difficult questions that really uh, nobody had uh, answers or they were very religious in religious nature I used to say hmm I don't belong here how did I get here how did I get here this is not my real family this is not the real place and of course, when we come to the 3D reality, we don't have that memory. Although I always say that children up to five, six years, if you ask them, the three, four year old, where you came from? Are you from the other planet? Do you remember your previous life or lives? It may actually tell you remembers but then forgets and it's a reason of course for that and at some point we are going through awakening because the 3d uh was a linear time and then we are going uh into the four dimension awakening awakening to our own truth who we are we not the others the awakening is about who you truly are what's your mission in life because you see if you are a star seed star child or old soul you came to the planet earth in the moment that we can have at the end of the world 12 12 12 but it never happened because our mission was to enlighten humanity, to bring more light around peace on earth, the need for it, take care of nature, treat animals with respect. Those circus acts, zoos, pfft, it should be all, you know, long gone. And if you feel like me, then, you know, hey, it's a big chance that you are with a special mission from the other planet. Now, some of the star seeds were living on, on the planet Earth many lives. Then they went to the different planet or planets and they, they came back with the special mission to help humanity at this time. Some of them never lived on the planet Earth. So they suddenly coming and they like, hmm, 
I feel very isolated. I don't know, who, you know, what's going on here. I don't understand this reality. So this could be you too. So awakening activated memory. So we know who we are. And we can recall our life purpose in this lifetime on planet Earth. You see, the next thing that uh, you may crave is home. Because again, your family, whatever you are, whatever you move, you don't feel home. And these kind of people are not afraid of death. In fact, I never use this word because I don't believe in that. We are going from one dimension to the other. So when I'm thinking, oh, okay, someday I'm going to pass on, I'm going home, which is a happy thought. It's not something that I ever was afraid of. If I ever looked at somebody in a coffin, I never felt sorry for the person who passed on. I said, oh, her or his problems are over. So when everybody looked at the coffin, I would look at the people surrounding the coffin because we're talking my childhood with this kind of um, um, going to the other side and being in a coffin and, you know, going six feet under with you no know, funeral homes. This were actually in people's homes, okay? So um, the whole family is around, sometimes children, and when everybody look in, I look outside and I said, I feel so bad for those who survive, especially children, if they mom or dad, and the children were still small. That was really sad. If you love space, like I do, uh, if you like looking at stars, planets, cosmos, you know, yeah, that's a, that's a big sign that you may be a star seed, star child. And if you like, um, space. Uh, on this note, something is in my glasses, on my glasses somewhere. On this note, if you, like me, I, I have to tell you, when I was going from Pacific to Atlantic, I picked up my car in Oakland, California, and I drove all the way to Spring Lake, New Jersey. So from one ocean to the other by myself, that was a spiritual trip, no map, no GPS, no nothing. Whatever the intuition, my higher self told me to go, I would go. And um, I could go, through some beautiful parks, you know, the uh, western side of, um, I'm sorry, the eastern side of California. But I chose instead going through Nevada desert. The most wonderful experience ever. One pickup truck going I was going this direction, he was going this direction. No people, no cars, no homes, no restaurants, no uh, trees, no flowers, no birds, no animals, nothing. Just very far, very far on the horizon, high mountains. That's it. Just one road. <laughs> And I felt amazing because I love space. You see, I used to say, because that was the experience that cut that dream off because already happened. I don't have to wait until I close my eyes or rather open to the other realities. But I used to say, I cannot wait when I close my eyes because the first thing I'm going to zoom through the universe. That was my saying. Oh, when I found myself on this desert, by myself, it was so liberating, such a freedom. And then 
it came to me, wow, I was dreaming about zooming through the universe. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yes, no beautiful planets and stars, but still, such a freedom. Later in Sedona, um, they asked me, uh, some lady, weren't you afraid to be alone driving in this little car, which was not new at all? What if something happened to you? Who would help you? And I said, you know something? It would never come to me. I had water with electrolytes and water to drink and water to wash. I had dry food. The car coming from Maui uh, went through a great service because I told them what uh, my intentions are. So all kind of filters, air filter, just name it. Everything was changed belts for new. No, I absolutely, I prepare myself. I knew it's going to be okay. So that's the message from the higher self. I needed to go through this experience and was absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So if you have the same craving for the space, for travel, um, yes, you may be a star child. Now, if you feel like you don't belong to this family, you don't belong to any group, and you perhaps isolating yourself, you feeling differently than others, yes, you could be a starseed. Starseed's usually very intelligent, a very... Uh, loving and thinking about peace on earth, okay? They want a healthy environment and they're working towards it. They are smart. Following hard, but also logical. So intelligent, smart people. And they're very much into science. So that's one of the signs. They are into the holistic medicine, healing, food and everything that is free of chemicals. They're very spiritual, intuitive, and psychic. If you love, like me, some uh, movies like um, the Star Wars or Close Encounters, Spielberg's movie that I have my own, I love that. Anything what is with ETs, <laughs> aliens, I love it. Um, These people, the, the star seeds, have mission and that's why this awakening on planet earth going to the fourth dimension awakening and then multi-dimensionality uh, and i'm so into interdimensional healing and getting message messages that's how i get my visions messages interdimensionally and i'm giving seminars teaching um this method so it's Life mission usually is helping others, helping humanity in every possible way. Many of us spiritual teachers, healers, psychics, we do channeling, we do readings, uh, um, writing books, painting, um, loving music, writing music, playing music, and of course, supporting the environment, nature, animals. Also, lifting spirit of others, either through humor or whatever we do. But people listening to us, watching us, feeling right away, Barry. I have, uh, I have a woman who wrote to me that uh, the readings that I do, any readings, she listens to every sign. It's not even about what I'm saying. Is just a listening to me that is so healing for her, so interesting. 
So we may be, you may be like me, Pleiadian or Arcturian or from Orion or Syrians or um, Reptilian. And this Reptilian, not all of them are bad. Okay, I'm not going to go into it too much because I um, get away from anything that is negative, voodoo, dark energy, uh, any, anything that has a devil or Satan in it. I'm not touching this energy. And I'm going to really advise you not to do it because many people who are doing it either are those reptilians that bad batch <laughs> that actually recycling themselves lifetime after lifetime but uh, it's best to stay on a good side and I give you an example when I go on YouTube for example and I'm looking for my patrons, let's say for a nice music or a, a video or a movie, whatever it is. Or I'm looking for a new way to dress, to great music, for example, to get a great music or something. Guess what's going to happen the very next day? I open my computer and YouTube, whatever I subscribe or even not. Everything generates the material that I've been looking for for a day, two, three. So now I have all these videos, all this kind of music, for example, for Christmas that I would like to hear. Or other readings, astrology, numerology, just name it. You see what happens? The memory of the computer generates it. So can you imagine how quickly and quicker and quicker what is happening? Whatever you're thinking, electric, whatever you're feeling, magnetic, you bring it to yourself. So if you're negative, if you're whining, complaining, and waiting for the worst to happen, guess what? You're going to see it. And with this new energy, quicker and quicker watching 2019 in January starting when you expecting positive oh in fact talking about this I met um, a neighbor yesterday and she starts to say all the worst things possible all the worst case scenarios and I'm listening listening and I'm not I'm not even you see the different different frequency I'm like what is she talking about and finally I stopped her and I said I'm sorry but uh, that's going to be enough for today I have to tell you I live in a different reality my reality is beautiful and she now is looking at me like what planet is she from <laughs> what are you talking about? So you see what I'm saying? Be careful to what you're listening, especially if you are sensitive, you are an empath, because you may be absorbing like a sponge all those toxic energies, because that's what it is. And then you're going to see that comes to your life. Wow. Open the door and run for the hills, okay? Stay positive, stay happy, and if you gotta make a decision, don't make it out of fear. Make it out of life. Do you see my beautiful heart? It's all for you, my guys. So, wish you all the best. I hope I help you somehow to understand if you are a star child or not. Many kisses, many hugs. And until I see you again.